Hey, scrapbook friends, welcome to week 24 of Theme Park Thursday. And this is the last uh, layout from our day at the Magic Kingdom. So day one of what's a five day trip. So like I said, this could be a long series. Um, this one I did use a Pinterest sketch to help me gain inspiration. And I actually end up looking a lot like the inspiration sketch, I think, uh, by the time we're done. And I had a lot of fun with it. I love the colors, I love the circles, and I love the umbrellas. So stay tuned to see how it all came together. So one of the things I love about Disney is that they have this photo pass program where you get, um, you can buy a pass uh, called Memory Maker, and then they have photographers stationed all around the park. And then when you see one of these photographers, they'll take your picture and they put it all in an account and you can just download them. Um, and they'll also use your own camera if you don't want to, um, you know, pay for the photo pass. But for me, it's always worth it to pay for it. And then it's my goal to get my money's worth for paying for this photo pass or whatever, a hundred bucks or whatever I paid for it. Um, so this is our last uh, event that I have pictures for while we were in the Magic Kingdom on our first night, that rainy night. And I thought that I was going to have three pictures, but as I look at these pictures, these are basically the same picture. This one kind of shows our feet, which is, you know, okay. But I like this one better. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do this picture. And I'm just going to do these two. I love when they put the magic in and give us a little magical Tinkerbell. You don't know what you're going to be, you know, have. They just tell you, look at your hand, you know, put your hand out and look surprised. And Katie is great at looking surprised. Um, and so as I was kind of looking at these pictures... And been thinking about this, I, I don't, I, I was having trouble coming up with an idea. And so I decided to go ahead and pull out Pinterest um, again, which I haven't done for the last few layouts. And, oops, I don't want to shut down my computer. No, cancel. Okay, sorry. Um, and as I was scrolling through, I found a couple of layouts that I like. Um, I like this one that has, um, oops, wrong one this one that kind of has the circles in it there's kind of this circle background this is the entrance into tomorrowland and i kind of like that behind us and so i thought maybe i do something with the circles but i also I forget that i don't have a touch screen um i also like this one uh, from sketch savvy and i like the angle and i like the little circles and the rectangles and so i think i'm going to go with this one so I have some sweet summer left. Um, and I thought I was gonna use more of this than I ended up using just because it's very kind of summery specific and didn't really go with my spring trip to Disney. Um, but I love this piece with the suns and I love, love the stripe. And I do love this one if I can find a way not to have the words show. I think the waves would actually work because it was so rainy. Um, Obviously, that's the one I'm having the most trouble using because I have several pieces of it left. Oh, look, here's a piece of birthday bonanza that got put in the wrong wrong section. These, uh, This is um, little starfish. I don't know if I can make that work. I don't want this one. Um, I guess that's what I've got left. The popsicle is the back of that. But I think I can use these pieces and maybe some solids and some shimmers and recreate this little sketch um, a little bit. It's not gonna be exactly, so thank you sketchsavvy.blogspot.com. Um, Susan Stringfellow is the designer of this, and I think this is what's gonna kind of start my uh, inspiration for this layout. We'll see how I end up in the end, but I kind of like the angle and the, the squares. So I think what I wanna do though, because it's nighttime, I wanna use a dark background and with the, um, with the Sweet Summer, and the, the castle kind of has blue in it and pink. There's no pink in this uh, paper. My daughter's wearing pink. Um, I think maybe I need to go with the purple. I thought I was gonna go with the, the dark sea green, but I think I'm gonna see if I have a dark purple, because I think that will be a good background page to go for this layout. So this paper, I think, was from a cardstock buffet a little while ago. It's called Dark Purple, and I think that's what I'm going to use. I did, I, like I say, I did kind of originally think I wanted to use the 
dark sea green because I love this one. But I think it needs to be the purple just for the colors. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll do both of them. And so on the sketch, there's kind of a like a, a rectangle around this one and a rectangle around this one. And I want my main rectangle to be this, um, this stripe because I love this stripe. So let me grab my computer again. And this doesn't really give us dimensions, but this looks like it's about a four inch. Whoa, what happened? A four inch um, image. And so, and I know that's a four by six. So this looks like it's probably a five by maybe seven. You can take, you can do math. So if you multiply it by three, you would get a 12 by 12. So if I multiply this by three, so it's three and a quarter, it'd be like nine and a quarter by uh, 8, 2 times by 6. So let's, that's, that's more math than I like to do. But let's, let's start with like, it looks bigger than 5 by 7. Maybe not. Let's do a 5 by 9 piece with this. And my paper's got a little spot on it. I don't know if it's something I spilled on it, water or something like that. So I want to make sure I don't use that. And I'm going to, it's hard to do this with the laptop on here, but if I put it behind me, then I have to keep turning around and um, not talking to you. So there's a five, a five by nine. I didn't put my foot up, so it's not gonna be exact. So I do the five by nine and then, do I want the little suns behind it? I like the suns, but it's, they're kind of bright. I am going to move this. I'll just have to, you know, look at it somewhere else. So if I do this one behind it, I think this is probably a five by seven. Maybe not even that much, but I'm going to cut five by seven. I can always trim them down if I need to. And I don't want to fold up my arm. I'm going to do math, subtract seven from 12 and I get five. So I know that that's five by seven. So if I have this one here, and this one here, And I think I want to do this wave thing. And instead of cutting it with the trimmer, I think I want to just cut with scissors. And I'm not even going to like try to fussy cut. I just want, because I want some of the light blue, but I mostly want the dark blue. So I'm just going to kind of take my scissors and cut. Oops, that one didn't get rounded as much as I'd like. The microchip scissors are probably not the best bet. The regular... Um, scissors might have been better for this but that's what we're gonna do we're gonna cut this just fussy cut it I'm gonna just even that up a little I was trying to do that Christmas like gift wrap thing you know we can just go Shh. that didn't really work and then I'm gonna come down here and do the same thing See, I'm still trying to take shortcuts and just kind of scooch through and rip the paper. But I like having this. All right. Oh, and you know what? This isn't going to work because I want this to be at an angle. So maybe this is going to be a straight layout. Or I could trim this and, you know, patch it with another piece. Let's see. Hmm. 
I might want to cut this down a little bit because I want the stripe to be the main paper. And then it had some circles. And I think I need to do some colors. Maybe I maybe I could bring in a pink. There's not really a pink though. There's this light lilac I could use and maybe the canary yellow and maybe the, um, oh, what's that icy blue color? Island Waters. So let me grab those card stocks and see if we can punch some circles or cut. I think I'm gonna use this cut, the custom cutting system and cut some circles and see if I can make that, um, make those circles. Okay, so apparently I don't have any of the current colors that match this collection here at, at my house, but I have some older colors. This was called Honey Mustard. It might be a little too yellow. This was called um, Berry Frappe. I think this is from a cardstock buffet. This is Island Waters, which is current. And this is Aqua, which is retired, but was one of my favorites. And I think that one goes better. I don't think this yellow matches. I think it's too much. I think it's too bright for what I'm wanting. But I could use this. I could use this little peachy color, which kind of matches. And I did kind of look at the backs. I don't want popsicles for sure. I looked at the backs of the papers that I had pulled out. And I mean, I could maybe get some colors out of here. I need to not use that um, birthday bonanza. But it's kind of the hard part when you're getting down to the end of a paper pack, where you don't have as much of what you need. So that's gonna make it a little bit harder for me to do the circles the way I wanted to. So I might need to pull out some shimmers because I think I have some lighter colored shimmers and I think those are going to work better and I love shimmers so let's try that let me clean this off too while I'm while I'm at it while I'm digging for papers but I'll be right back okay so I pulled out a bunch of shimmers this one was called berry uh, I don't know something berry this is from the paper buffet last summer. This is that wild wisteria and the icy blue that we used for the flowers. This is lilac shimmer, lagoon shimmer, autumn hay shimmer. This is that azalea shimmer, which I love, but it actually doesn't, um, it's not in this paper. You know, I use this little scrap and it's not in here, but I still really like it. And I need something with a little more punch, I think. And I tried the orange because there's orange in here and it just doesn't go. This is the orange shimmer. I mean, it matches, I guess, but it's this is more of a red, a reddish orange, and this is more of an orangish orange. So I don't know. We don't have a yellow shimmer. I don't have the canary. I don't know how much I need, but the sample has like a big circle and two smaller circles here, and then one circle up there. And I think if I use this berry frappe as kind of my big circle, it kind of matches with this. And then I use the Lagoon. Maybe this Lilac Shimmer. I don't know, I feel like I need more contrast. So maybe I use the Autumn Hay down here. And then like the ice blue up here, but I still need also need some banners and stuff. And so maybe I do just wanna bring in this this pink. I love this pink, even though it's not necessarily in there. I feel like it fits the color family. So I'm going to pull out my um, custom cutting system circles for this one because I mostly want like the smaller circles that are the inside of this. And so I kind of don't want the, the blue because this is blue on here. I feel like this purple can kind of go together. And I want this to be my biggest one. And, you know, there is a sizing template. I don't know where mine is, but to tell you how big your circles are going to be. So if you're not confident at kind of guessing, you can get a plastic template out. But I am so used to guessing, I don't even know where mine is. So I think I'm going to do this one with the blue blade for my first circle.
we'll cut that one first. Ah, there's that little hair. So that one will go first. This would actually allow me to cut this and do this all at an angle by because I could hide it behind the um, I could hide it behind the circle. So I think I'm gonna do that. And oh, I really love this pink. You guys know I love this pink because you saw me doing the small world page. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this one. And I'm gonna stick with the blue blade for this one. It'll give me a smaller circle with the hair. And then maybe the autumn hay, but I don't want this one to be as small. Oh, I don't know. I think that's gonna be too, like it's gonna feel too white. But maybe I do want a big circle of this that I can journal on. So maybe I'll do that out of this, a bigger one and tuck it behind and I'll do that ice blue. That's a small one. I think I'll do two little small ice blues because I'm going to put one up at the top on the banner or the little strip that goes up there. All right. Oh, thought I didn't get the little overlap strip. I was thinking I'd figured it out by pushing it out to the side, but that didn't work. All right, so I'm going to just take this guy now and... Just cut it across so that I can go off the edge and have my little banner off the edge. And then I'll put the circle over the top of it. And this, and this, and then I'll put one up here. Um, oh, I was gonna do this with the circle to journal. Although that kind of ruins the whole, you know, rule of threes thing. So I might have to do a couple other, I, I like um, odd numbers. And I think this, I don't think I made this up. I think this is a, um, like a real design rule that odd, odd numbers are happier than even numbers. I think I'll do a couple more small ones. I'll kind of do it like this. I do think I am going to trim this a little bit smaller so that I, I can butt it up against. So let's take these off. I'm gonna stick this one down first. And I didn't do any kind of border. You know how hard that is for me, but I think this one doesn't need a border. I keep kind of going back to my laptop, which is on my side table out of the camera view. It's a little, we're a little falling down here. So that's, oh, that's almost not crooked enough. I feel like if it's not crooked enough, it looks like it's not intentional. So we'll do that one first, and then we'll do this one up against it. That's still, still, oh, I didn't cut it yet, did I? Maybe I'll do it like that. And this one. And with this one, I'm just gonna make sure that I get the edge so that it comes right here on the edge. So I can trim off the rest and then I'll line it up the other way. So we'll do that next. And I guess I'm kind of trying to have it be on this line. Where'd I put my ruler? So if I kind of position it this way, this will maybe help me to get this guy. I mean, it's not, it's not straight, so it's not going to be exact, but we'll just kind of make sure, what was that one, that it um, lines up and it looks like it's one piece. And again, I want to make sure that my corner isn't here. You know, I don't have a little corner. I want this to go all the way off the edge. And then I'll put this one on here. Oh, what do I do? Do I trim it down? I can't really trim the picture down, but I think I can trim this. I would use my personal trimmer, but my 12 inch trimmer is right here. So I'm just gonna cut like a half an inch ish off. Not even a half inch looks like. Well, maybe I'll do the full half inch. There we go. Cut a half inch off the side. And put 
put this kind of right here. I don't know how I feel about that, but I don't want to, I don't really want to overlap and I can't really tuck this behind because I did that wavy line. So even though this is the one I kind of wanted, it's going to have to work. And I'm going to not center it because I trimmed it now. It's a little bit longer on one side and I'm, so I'm going to make the kind of the wider space at the bottom, kind of like an old Polaroid picture. For those of us that are old enough to remember this. Oh, you know, I'll just butt this up against there. Now I think I'm going to have to overlap it even a little bit here. I can't remember if they're supposed to be on the same line or not. Yeah, it looks like they are, and it looks like they have them very close together. So that's what we'll do. We'll stick this down. And I do feel like I'm kind of using the... Um, the sample more than I usually do. Usually I just let it get my idea started and then I run with it. But this time, for whatever reason, I'm feeling, I don't know, I'm not, this one hasn't entered my head yet to be its own layout. And I guess I could scoot this over. That's a little too much. I want it to go off the edge. So basically this line is now lining up with that line. Going right to the edge, but that's kind of what I did up there too, isn't it? So, all right. Now I gotta fix this one because I moved it. Hmm. All right, and then that can go there. Okay, that's better. I like that better. I think it matches. Um, I already put adhesive on here. <laughs> All right, I want this to line up with that. No, except I don't want it to be, I guess I'll go on top of that. It's not the same angle and that's gonna annoy me. So I'm gonna fix this now. <laughs> Ugh. Again, this is one of those things that nobody's going to care. But if you care, then by all means, do what you need to do to make it so it makes you happy. All right, so that lines up. We got this where it's not matching, so I'm gonna put this, and I think I'm gonna tuck this behind the photo, actually. Even though I haven't journaled on it yet, and I might, if I mess up. I don't, I don't, ugh, I want the other colors. We'll trim off this little edge that I always get. I'm gonna hide some of that behind, but. Oh, look, there's this one right here. Ugh. That one up at the top. I think I need another one. I think I need something else right here. Maybe this one. Maybe the aqua. I think I'll do it that size, which was the medium one with the red blade. Or no, with the blue blade. Well, there it is again. I mean, it's like, it's straight everything's straight I don't know how I do that all right 
kind of like that. And I think I need another one up there. And I think it's going to need to be this pink because I love the pink. And I think I need it to be that size. And I think I'm not going to use all of this. I think part of it's going to go off the edge and I'm going to trim it which is a little different than the sample. So maybe there is hope for me not to be in a total copycat. Kind of like that. It's almost more of an angle than I want it to be. I kind of want it to be a little bit down this way, but I've already stuck so much down. I don't know if I can <laughs> make it better and be, be happy but I think I have to. We just felt like we were, we're too leaning. We're too leany. Line this up again. All right. Oh, now I can't remember how I had this and I liked it. That, I think it was kind of like that. Does that look all right? Or does this have to go behind so I can journal? I think this has to go behind so I can journal. So. What am I going to say? Let me find a pen and do my journaling and um, before I stick anything down. All right, I just wrote, hooray for us. We didn't let a little rain or, okay, record-breaking rainfall scare us away and managed to stay till park closing. We even found a photo pass photographer in a dry spot. So now I'll put a little extra adhesive. I didn't mess that up. And I'll put these other pieces. Ah, I didn't turn it over. Go me. I don't, I don't like the two circles that are the same size next to each other. I don't really like that on top of the blue. And this one, I think I'm going to put off the edge and just kind of do it like that. So there's, I think they had little stripes. The sample had little stripes, but I'm going to do little circles. And I'll, after my small world page, you may think I'm going to keep going with circles. I'm not going to. Now I'm going to trim this off and I could use my 12 inch trimmer. But they're short enough that I think I'm just going to use my scissors. Oops, I want to stick that down. So I'm right up along the edge. And then turn it upside down. And then I can just ride the edge of my scissor along the edge of the cardstock base. And I can just go all the way around and trim off. And it'll be straight. This one is not, I guess because I moved it down. Oh, it's stuck to the, the stripe. And then I moved it enough that it wasn't sticking. So it helps to have it stuck on there really well. All right, not, not quite enough. I think this does need some ink around the edges. I'm just going to do it with... Maybe this metallic pen. I think I used this purple one before. No, this one wasn't it wasn't light enough, right? It's kind of dark. I want it. I want like a light shimmer. Hmm. What have I got? All right. 
so I know I've got more shimmer colors in this, but these are the ones I could find. And I think I'm just going to use the silver shimmer. I kind of like the gold. It might bring out the yellow. Let me try both of those. Actually, let me try them under here. Just so I can kind of see what the colors look like. Eh, I don't know about that. And this is the fine tip on the shimmer. I think I've told you before how it's a little bit different. I think it's going to be this one. I wish that purple shimmer was like a light lilac shimmer and not this dark. Oh, I don't know. Once you get it on and it dries, it, may, it does make that light color. Okay, we're going to use this one. After all that, we're going to use the, the lilac shimmer. And I'm just going to do just a little kind of a not quite straight line. I'm going to on purpose kind of make it a little bit wonky. And it's just going to be a hint of a line around the edge. And this is like 90s era scrapbooking. I don't even know if you can see it. We'll see when it dries if we can see it or if I decide I need to go back with another color. But, you know, we just used to do all that pen work. And, uh-oh. Oh, oh that's, that's, that's okay. That's that piece. I'm like, what's poking out? All right, so you can barely see that. It's just a little hint of a line. So I think I'm going to do, even though you can barely see, I think I'm going to do a double line. And I'm going to call that good. And now I need some, a title. Some ABC. Just come out under here. So this is good. It's me really subtle. It's like I don't even think people are going to notice it, but I think it will just give a little bit of definition. I kind of like the wavy line too because it um, it kind of echoes this wavy line. Do we need something else? I still have these little umbrellas, but I think I'm going to use them for another, the other layout, we, even though we didn't have an umbrella. Oh, maybe I do want the umbrellas. <laughs> That's kind of cute with the umbrellas. All right, I think I am going to use those little umbrellas, even though they're not the right color, are they? Maybe I need this color umbrellas. Let's try that. Having all these extra umbrellas, I thought was gonna just be like, oh good, I've already got these, I can just use them. This is that Autumn Hay Shimmer, and I don't know what the deal is with, but it is super thick. It's like the thickest cardstock Creative Memories has. And I, I think that they, you know, maybe they were trying a different type of shimmer paper. And we're not, I don't think we're going to have it again, but. Oh, yeah, I think I like it better with the, with the little Autumn Hay Shimmer umbrellas. Although, maybe that needs to be off the edge. I think so. Okay, so now we'll get our little uh, silicone mat and some repo tape. Because this works so well for stuff like this that has, you know, intricate punch outs. It doesn't stick to the silicone. I can just put it where I want. It only sticks to the cardstock. And then I think I want to write something like We Beat the Rain or I don't like out we outlasted the rain or we beat the rain 
but that's kind of beating the rain like is when you don't get caught in the rain. You beat the rain home. Um, hmm. Let me think about that one for a minute. I think maybe I'll just write the rain didn't stop us. If I use the small letters, maybe it'll fit. But I'm also thinking as I'm looking at this, that this pink, much as I adore it, is not working for me. And that maybe I should use this pink and replace those two. So I'm going to do that, replace those two with this pink and see if I can find the small sticker letters and write a little rain. Um, rain can't rain can't stop us, I think is what I'll write. And I'll replace those and then I'll be back. Okay, so I did end up adding one more little circle right here. I looked at the sample. Okay, so I did uh, my title and I tried, I experimented a little bit trying to find a color that I could use because you know I like color, but I didn't have any colors that matched these colors in here and I just I didn't want to have to wait for them to dry anyway. So I just used the white uh, sans serif sticker letters, which are smaller. Um, I did add another little circle right here. I looked at the uh, example sketch and they had like little, um, some little stripes right here, but I liked it better with just the circles. So this one actually is quite a bit like the example sketch, I think. Um, I mean, I mixed it up a little bit, but I, it, I definitely st stuck closer to this one than I usually do. And I like it. I think it's, uh, I, I like the circles. I'm really glad I switched it out. Even though these have suns on them, I'm really glad that I switched it out for that pink, even though I do love this um, azalea shimmer. Um, yeah, so the next layout is just about the rain. It says we're leaving the Magic Kingdom. It's the one I've been looking forward to for weeks and weeks. So that'll be next week's layout. But this one is week 24. So not too bad. I guess 24 layouts for one a day at the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, that's not too bad, right? Um, I like it. I'm glad that we kind of ended with the sweet summer papers like we started at the beginning. And I like that we use the umbrellas again. And I think we're going to use them again next week. No promises. Uh, because who knows? You know, I never end up with what I think I'm going to end up with. And again, sorry about the glare from the, the overhead light. So there you can see kind of the whole layout. Um, this will go opposite the uh, people mover from last week. So week number 24, uh, I don't know, in my brain, I call this rainy photo pass, but we're kind of in the, in the shade, we're in the overhang, so the rain, it wasn't actually raining on us, but um, maybe I'll call it rainy night two, or I don't know what I'll call it, but by the time you watch this, I'll have figured out what I'm going to call it. So thank you so much for watching, for your comments. I'm really, really enjoying doing this series. Um, it's good for me to have to think about what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, why I make the changes that I make, and I hope that you are enjoying it too. Join me again next Thursday for another Theme Park Thursday, and until then, happy scrapbooking.